This is a, a new way of doing um, prospecting or mining. And it's not on land, but it's in the, on, in the sea, in the seabed. And so for that, uh, it brings to us a different way of looking at uh, things. Now, for us, when we talk about uh, the sea at this time, as we are focusing on mining, we mean that uh, our livelihood will be very much affected, and also uh, ocean. What we see happening on the on the, the the mining on land, that will also happen in the sea. That means the destruction of the the, the seabed, and it will be left like that, nothing to to to, to cover it, and uh, and so. On the other hand, also we are we are, more, we are more concerned of the lives livelihood of those who are living along the coast, uh, and that is because um, this will mean that uh, they they are they are fishing grounds, the, the places where they are fishing, and if this uh, mining is right on those spots, then these people will lose their way of living their life and also uh, their way of supporting themselves. Uh, and so that is really kind of a very detrimental to their normal life as people uh, who have been living like that for many years. Also on the other end, if, if, if the, their livelihood is destroyed, now we have no money to be able to sustain us in this way because, uh, you know, take us for many years. We have been relying on the way we have been living simply taking our, our, our food from, from the, the sea. And also, we rely very much on marine life to be able to sustain us and, and so on. So that's the thing that uh, really kind of worries us. Uh, at the same time, with the, the, the lives in the sea, they will be driven away. Or, or if, if they're using chemical and so on, well, these are the things that will help destroy and will deplete also uh, the life that are there. So, for us, it's, it's very interesting that we should not allow uh, mining here. And so, for me, my, my, my call to our leaders here in the Pacific, we should be mindful of how our people have been living for many years. And remember this, we don't have a big, a big land mass where we could, we could really live comfortably, nothing. And uh, with uh, the situation of, uh, for example, with this seabed mining, the way we, we saw things, and the, 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 the example we saw in the machinery that, that was digging, that tried, tried to kind of uh, harvest the, the ore on the surface, it was really digging in, and it's really a powerful machine. And, in that, and, and when, it, when, when, it, when it has done what it did, there was a hole, a big hole there. So really, the, this is really kind of uh, already destroying that. And also, with the, the, the high-rise sea level and the tides that is coming, this will do a lot of harm to, to, to us. And as we are not a big land mass, we are only a small island. And this is where the problem will be for us. It will, you see, the, 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 the mining activity will be there for a short time. But we will live with, with the destruction that will be left behind. And nothing else will, 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 will solve it for us, will kind of repair it for us. It's this word. As towards now, you know, God has given us this beautiful uh, uh, land, home that we live in. And also, you know, in the, the Bible, it gives us the, the, the sense of uh, caring for what he gave us. Not to, to our, uh, in, in, we, we read from the Bible, we know this from Genesis, telling after, the, after creation. And then at the end he created men. And then he said, you know, you, I have the responsibility to give you. And you have to be like me, caring also for the beautiful home that I have given to you. And caring in a sense that uh, we look at our brothers and sisters, we do care for them as if, this is a responsibility and really uh, given to us. And of course, 
we are made in God's image, and if we are made in his image, we have the responsibility to care for what he has given us, the home, which we can say, our common home. And at the same time also, in our caring for this home, we are also focusing and, and thinking and uh, preparing or, or, or preserving it for those after us. Now the, even the unborn, the ones who are small now, the small children, but then the ones who are after us that will be still coming after many years. And so we have an important responsibility to be able to do this. And that is why, uh, for me, the call to care for our common home, it is not only for a group of people, but it's for all of us. And even those who are coming to try to, 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 to use our, our, our places to, to um, uh, use our resources, they should be mindful. And if, there is, uh, if they have to say no and say yes, we, we say no because we have to help preserve our home, and they, are, they will be helping us a lot in this way. And for me, that, that will be the best way to be able to see this. My appeal to our global leaders who will be representing us in those big meetings, uh, my, my, my call to them is that please represent us and call, making them aware, making our leaders aware, the whole world leaders aware, that we are at risk and we need their voice to represent us and to say ban deep sea mining if this is what the, the people are, are calling for and we represent the churches represent the multitude of people who are not able to speak and we are representing them in this way and so while speaking here this is what i'm speaking for i'm speaking for the ones who are here the silent majority but also at the same time mindful of the ones who are coming after us, who are still, still to be born and come after us.